China has set two important centenary goals. The first one is to build a moderately prosperous society in all respects by 2020, which is the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. The second one is to build a modern socialist country by the middle of the 21st century, in time for the centenary of the People's Republic of China. The 19th CPC National Congress will be the last National Congress of the party before first centenary goal in 2020. So experts say it will have great historical importance. 具有这个里程碑意义的 It will be a milestone. It will not only wrap up the experience of building the economy, society, and the party in the last five years since the 18th National Congress, but also draw up a blueprint for the next five years and even longer. It will focus on how to realize a moderately prosperous society and even how to build a strong modern socialist country. The 19th CPC National Congress will not only focus on the country's development, but also on the building of the party. People are expecting new adjustments to the party constitution. And just as China's former top leaders formed their own theories of governance, such as Mao Zedong thought and Deng Xiaoping theory, the current General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, Xi Jinping, is expected to summarize his own. The Central Committee, with Xi Jinping at the center, has created new ideas, thoughts, and strategies. With five years of work experience, they will have a clearer thread of thoughts. People are expecting new achievements in the party theory that extract and summarize from the past five years' work. They will be put into the party's constitution to guide the party and the people. The expert also expects the party to strengthen governance of the party by adjusting the system. They probably will build a more strict system for party governance and form a comprehensive disciplinary supervision system over the party members. Wang Hui, CGTN, Beijing. The Central Committee of the CPC usually holds seven plenary sessions during its five-year term. So now let's take a look at the previous six sessions of the 18th CPC Central Committee. The first plenary session was held on November the 15th, 2012, and that plenum saw the election of a new central leadership, including the General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee and members of the Political Bureau. The second session in 2013 adopted a list of candidates for state leadership positions and a government restructuring plan. And during the third session in 2013, the CPC announced plans to comprehensively deepen reforms, urging the improvement of the country's governing system and capabilities. And the fourth plenum in 2014 focused on comprehensive,、uh, com- comprehensively advancing the rule of law, setting the goal of building a socialist legal system with Chinese characteristics. And the fifth session in 2015 unveiled proposals. For formulating the 13th five-year plan, mapping out strategies for China's economic and social development from 2016 to 2020, and all-round strict governance of the CPC dominated discussions during the sixth plenum in 2016, with important documents being issued on strengthening intra-party discipline and supervision. But、well, indeed, it's been five years since the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party of China. So, what exactly has the country accomplished? Figures speak louder than words. Here's a closer look at some of the major milestones since 2012. 7.2 percent. That's China's average annual GDP growth from 2013 to 2016. Last year, the GDP of the world's second-largest economy amounted to 11.2 trillion U.S. dollars, contributing to 14.8 percent of the world's total. With innovation fueling supply-side structural reforms, China's contributions to the growth of the global economy stood at 30 percent on average over the past four years. That surpassed the combined contributions of the U.S., eurozone, and Japan. Robust domestic growth has boosted international trade, 3.7 trillion U.S. dollars. That's China's import and export trade volume in 2016, accounting for 11 percent of the world's total. One fourth of which goes to the Belt and Road Initiative and major projects, including the development of high-speed rail and nuclear electricity. 
China's employment rate continues to expand, with an estimated 13 million new jobs in urban areas over the past four years. Per capita disposable income increased by 7.4 percent annually since 2012. Last year, figures suggested that the average Chinese person was on the verge of reaching a wealthy life. This is according to the Angles Index. Poverty alleviation also saw remarkable achievements. The number of those living in poverty has been reduced by half since 2012. More than 55 million people were lifted out of poverty over the past four years. It's all part of China's ambitious campaign to ensure that by 2020, no one in the country will be impoverished.